right, you crazy world globe-trotting people. Let's talk about traveling while shaving with wet shaving stuff. Shave it up! Everybody, Clean Shaver here, and it is Friday again, and time for another video. Uh, I apologize, I'm not in my usual place. You'll notice I'm in a hotel room, actually. Uh, I happen to be traveling for work right now, and so I figured, hey, this is a good time to do a video about shaving and traveling. That, so that's what I'm gonna talk about today. So I wanted to offer a few tips and tricks and things that you can do to uh, prepare yourself for your journey, and a few things to consider before packing up your shaving stuff uh, for where you're going, okay? So first thing to consider is how long are you gonna be gone? And really, I mean, that's going to determine what you're comfortable taking. Uh, are you just gonna be gone for one night, two nights, that kind of thing? If it's a really short trip, don't bother bringing a whole lot of stuff. I mean, if you insist on shaving while you're gone, maybe bring one brush, one razor, one soap, one aftershave, and maybe not even bring a DE or a single edge. <laughs> I know, I just said it. Uh, maybe just bring a disposable Bic kind of cartridge razor, or something that you can get by with. If you insist on bringing a DE, bring something that you don't mind losing or breaking. I wouldn't uh, recommend bringing something that's gonna be uh, really valuable. And just in case something happens to it, you'll leave it in your hotel room or stuff like that happens. So I wouldn't bring anything super expensive on the road with you unless you are sure that you, you're you going to be super careful and gather everything together. If you're going to be staying longer, eh, feel free to bring whatever you have room for in your bag. Uh, you'll also want to consider whether or not you're going to be able to check a, check a bag or if it's going to be going as a carry-on. Now, the, I, I'm, I'm talking mostly about flying. Now, of course, when you're driving somewhere, you can bring as much stuff as you want. But uh, if you're if you're flying, then TSA can be pretty nitpicky about stuff, especially when it comes to blades. So straight razor shavers, plan on checking your bag. If you're a DE shaver or a single edge shaver, then things might get a little dicey for you. You might have to just say, you know what, I'm not gonna bring any blades with me. Um, I'll find some at a Walgreens or a CVS or something like that where I'm going and make that work. I personally have never been pulled over so to speak, by TSA for a double-edged blade. I have packed them in my carry-on and never really had a problem with it. That being said, that doesn't mean that won't happen for you. I actually use TSA PreCheck, and so maybe they're just more lenient with me, although I have been pulled over for this keychain on my keys. So, who knows? That might be something you get pulled over for. Now, so that's blades. Uh, I have found that I, I've heard of people like mailing a few blades ahead of themselves to the hotel that they're going to be staying at. If you really want to be that frugal and do it, go for it. Um, personally, I would probably just save myself the hassle, go to the store when I would get to the city and pick up a couple blades there. They're usually pretty cheap. One particular thing that a lot of people get very concerned about with traveling is their brushes, especially if you have uh, natural fiber like badger or boar or horsehair brushes. And so a few things around that. If you're gonna be traveling for a significant amount of time and you're going to be changing places quickly, so you know, you're know you spending one night here, one night there, one night there, and you're gonna be getting off and on, a plane, on and off of planes pretty quickly, then I might recommend just using a synthetic because it's going to dry very quickly. You don't really have to worry about keeping the, the brushes dry. It's not as big of a, of a maintenance thing. But if you're going to be staying in one place for multiple days, feel free to bring a badger or a boar or something along those lines. I brought my badgers with me. I actually have two badgers and a boar along with me because I like variety and let's face it, I'm nuts. So uh, one thing I do recommend investing in is something like this, which is a just a plastic brush stand. Uh, it's very inexpensive. In fact, I think I got a few of them along with my brushes uh, and helps to be able to set the brush in there once you're done leave it by your sink and just let it dry well before you pack it up. Uh, I generally shave at night. And so, uh, especially when I'm traveling, I'll shave, 
and get everything laid out and let it dry while I'm sleeping so that in the morning I can pack everything up if I'm going to be going quickly and then I don't feel too bad about I, I've given my brush a nice uh, nice resting period a nice uh, dry out period before I pack it away um, I have also used the uh, uh, the desiccant packets the little uh, uh, the, the little silicon packets that you get in like a box of electronics or something like that that absorb moisture um, I've put those in my bag along with a brush generally you don't really need it but if you are concerned about any extra moisture you can pack one of those in there with it um, I also know of guys that will take a, 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 a empty toilet paper roll and fit their brush inside that toilet paper roll just to help protect the bristles and keep them from getting all mashed up inside your bag so you can do that if you like that's another thing you can do the last thing that I would recommend is that if you are going to be bringing soaps along first don't worry about bringing too many uh, I brought I happen to bring like a bunch this trip because I'm going to a meetup and I plan on potentially uh, trading some things but uh, if you're going to be bringing some soap along with you make sure that it dries well so again uh, if you have a chance leave the lid off turn it upside down maybe over the edge of the sink so it has a chance to breathe and uh, and actually dry out if you're looking for low maintenance tube of shave cream really easy and you don't have to worry about it drying out and you don't have to worry about anything and it doesn't take up nearly as much space uh, so a tube of palm olive shave cream or uh, you know something similar to that will serve it very well now again I mentioned razors earlier and, and saying that you know the cheaper razors are generally something that I would look at I've actually been trying out these two travel razors uh, courtesy of Rolando Camarillo thank you Rolando for letting me try out this. this is a Wilkinson travel razor you can't really see the name of it there and this is a feather uh, both decent razors I'm not huge fan I'm not a huge fan of either of them just because I generally prefer heavier razors and these are fairly light but they have worked for me on this trip and so far so good but yeah that's something for you to consider as well you don't necessarily have to invest in a travel razor I know that there are some that are inexpensive so that if you if you do lose it it's not a big not a big deal uh, but generally again I wouldn't plan on taking anything that's going to be expensive on the road with you because let's face it if there's a chance that you could lose it or forget it leave it home so that's my video for you tonight a short and sweet kind of a thing uh, I'm tired and I need to get to bed but uh, tell me in the comments down below if you have any things that you do differently while you travel uh, what's your favorite thing to bring along with you on the road if you do travel a lot for uh, for work or for whatever if you're just a uh, a globetrotter and you like to shave let me know put it down in the comments down below I'd love to hear from you and uh, look forward to uh, I, I'm really excited to be going to the uh, East Coast shavers meetup uh, in Philadelphia this weekend so I look forward to seeing as many of you there as are going to be there and uh, hopefully be coming to a city near you soon I'm gonna be uh, hitting several cities across the across the country this uh, you know, over the next couple months and so hopefully maybe we'll have a chance to get together my schedule is generally pretty tight but every now and then I can work that out so um, hope you guys have a great weekend and uh, thanks for watching make sure to like favorite subscribe find all my social media links down in the description below and we'll see you on the next video be smooth shave it up we'll see you next time everybody